Spider-Man 2. It's highly praised as an improvement over the first movie and one of the greatest superhero films of all time. I think the only flaw is that a copy is a little too much from the first one. A man who Peter respects and looks up to becomes the villain, kidnaps Mary Jane, and then kills himself in the end. Honest trailers joked about this and it's true, but Spider-Man 2 gets credit for taking that formula and doing it even better. And that's because of everything going on around it. It takes the Superman 2, I quit being a superhero story, and improves upon it. Because it draws it up for much longer, building suspense. And letting Peter, and the audience, really feel the consequence of his decision. The concept that he lost his powers because of depression and a lost sense of purpose, connected to seemingly losing his girl, is pretty deep and poignant. Doc Ock is fantastic. Brilliant, witty, and very menacing. But what really makes him is that he's a villain with a logical motive. Although the tentacle's mind control makes him take it way too far. Willing to sacrifice half of New York City to achieve his dream. I'm grateful that this movie was made in the era when some things were CGI and some weren't in many of these type of films. The tentacles were obviously CGI at some times, but grey animatronics at others. The best special effects era for sci-fi and fantasy in my opinion. The fight scenes are thrilling and enhanced by beautiful cinematography. In particular, the train battle and rescue was one of the best superhero sequences ever filmed. Harry Osborn's character went through good progression, seeking revenge for what he thinks was his father's murder. And it all fits into the main plot. A great dramatic twist. Because of the copied formula, which, again, it admittedly approves upon, it's hard for me to say that it's better than the first. But I think most people would say that it is. And it's inarguably one of the genre's all-time greatest. Connoisseur out.